Hi Chiver Hermanos, how are you? Happy Monday to kick off the week and it is not like any other Monday. First of all, we have the birthday of Juan, El Bigotón Yaso, who was born on a day like today, but in 1926. El Bigotón Yaso was born in Guadalajara and is a tapatío de nacimiento. He has gone down in history as a very important campeonísimo, marking the first golden red and white era. And he has gone down as the player who has played for Chivas for the longest amount of time since Juan El Bigotón Yaso played around 21 years for El Rebaño Sagrado and is the only player in the history of the red and white who has played for Chivas for more than 20 years. So happy birthday to El Bigotón Yaso and today we celebrate, we remember one of the biggest legends of Club Deportivo Guadalajara. When we speak about players who have left a footprint due to their longevity and fidelity to any team, in Mexican football, Juan Yaso is at the top of the list. El Bigotón's career is uncomparable to the one of any other players as he played for El Guadalajara during 21 years. El Bigotón was born on a day like today, on the 21st of August 1926 in Guadalajara, and started playing football in the flatlands around La Perla Tapatía, from where he jumped to the football team of the department store of El Nuevo París, and then to Club Deportivo Guadalajara to kick off a brilliant footballing career. Juan Yaso made his debut with Club Deportivo Guadalajara at the age of 19 on Sunday the 17th of March 1946 on a 2-0 loss on the road against San Sebastián de León. That was the first one of 433 matches that Yaso disputed for Chivas on the Mexican First Division. As a defender and midfielder, El Bigotón became one of the most symbolic players in the history of Chivas as he was part of the base of players who constructed the club's greatness. Silverware started to arrive in the 1956-57 season and it did it with three trophies, the league title Copa México and Campeón de Campeones de CONCACAF. Yaso lifted 15 trophies with the red and white, distributed among seven league titles, one cup title, six Campeón de Campeones and one Campeón de Campeones de CONCACAF. His brilliant career lowered the curtain on the 23rd of October 1966 on a 3-0 win against against Ciudad Madero, match where he scored El Rebaño's second goal. Juan Yaso Martinez left an unforgettable legacy of commitment, loyalty and passion for the red and white, a lasting legacy that stands and shapes our identity in the present day. This has been a special edition of We Go To News. If you would like to learn more and be more informed on El Rebaño Sagrado, Please follow our English Twitter account at ChivasEN underscore or make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I am Alfredo Rodriguez and as always, Arriba Las Chivas!